Hey there, this is Natalie Lucier, and I wanted to record this quick review video of Active Campaign versus Infusionsoft. And the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people who are on Infusionsoft or considering Infusionsoft or Active Campaign or maybe even Entreport, they might be wondering, okay, what's different between these two? What are the important things I need to know about before I make this decision? Because let's face it, once you are installed in one of these CRMs and email management systems, it's much harder to move later on. So let me show you kind of the back end of both of them and really show you what I believe are the important things and we can go from there. So the first thing that you need to know is that both Active Campaign and Infusionsoft work on a tag system. So if you've used other email marketing systems where you add people to different lists, this is actually a much better way of doing things because you could have somebody who is on your quote unquote list, but you can tag them based on the actions that they're taking and their interests. So that way you don't need to have different lists. You can email people based on their interactions with you and their tags. The other thing that both Active Campaign and Infusionsoft do is that they have pipelines and deals. And this is great if you are doing one-on-one -on -one sales and you want to automate that workflow a little bit by having automated email and then following up with people individually for other things too. So both of those are great in both Active Campaign and Infusionsoft. Now, the other thing that you'll want to notice that I think a lot of people use the most are actually the automations and the campaigns inside of Infusionsoft. So I'm going to show you how this works inside of Active Campaign and compare how it works inside Infusionsoft. So you'll see here that everything is done from a vertical standpoint from top to bottom, and you can add different uh, tags or different ways to start an automation. So you can see here that if somebody clicks a link in an email, you can start a different type of automation. If somebody shares an email, if they add, get a tag added, you can also do something else. If they enter a pipeline or their deal stage changes, if they subscribe or unsubscribe, submit a form, all of these things are ways that you can start uh, an actual automation, same with the goal as well. So let me show you what that's like in Infusionsoft. So inside Infusionsoft under our campaign builder is where you'll see a very similar type of automation. So inside Infusionsoft, everything is horizontal and it goes from left to right. So you'll see that we've got our goal here and you can have a goal in a couple of different ways, very similar to Active Campaign. When somebody submits a form, um, when they click a link, they reach a score, purchase a product, submit an internal form, complete a task, apply a tag, all of these things will also trigger a start of a campaign. Now, the interesting thing here is purchases a product. That's something that we did not see inside of Active Campaign. And this is one of the biggest differences between Infusionsoft and Active Campaign is that inside of Infusionsoft, there is a shopping cart and an order form functionality all in one system. So when you're using Infusionsoft, you can have people ordering and you can fulfill based on these automation campaigns after somebody signs up for a paid product. You will still need a merchant account or PayPal or something to take the funds, but that is something that you cannot do inside of Active Campaign. There is no um, money exchanged inside of Active Campaign. You would have to use a third party tool or something completely different to make that work. Now, that being said, you'll see here these sequences are very similar to how we're seeing them inside of Active Campaign. So, once inside a sequence, you can apply tags, you can send emails, you can create things that are delayed based on specific dates or times, or just based on an interval. And you can also see here that you can send uh, an email or a phone call, um, even a printed letter. You can also apply tags, notes, create tasks, appointments, uh, sign an owner, opportunities, and send an HTTP post. So these are all great things that you can do inside of a campaign inside of Infusionsoft. And you'll see here that we've got a goal for a purchase. So if somebody purchases something, we will do something different than if they don't purchase. Back in Active Campaign here, you'll see that there are several ways to create these automations. We can send an email, we can send an SMS, we can also notify somebody. And then in terms of conditions and workflows, we have a couple of different things to work on here. So you'll see that we have an if else. So this is great if you want to add extra logic. So if somebody has a certain tag or does not have a certain tag, you can start to add different conditional statements, which you can also do inside of Infusionsoft. And the same goes for starting and stopping an automation. So if somebody gets added to a specific tag, then you can stop promoting to them, for example, which is also something you can do inside of Infusionsoft.
Now you'll see you can also subscribe people, add tags, remove tags, and adjust scores. And then here under the CRM, you can do more deal type things, update owners, and assign things to different people inside of your organization. Now, when it comes to actually sending emails in both of these tools, you'll see here that inside of Active Campaign, there are a couple of things that you cannot do inside of Infusionsoft. And one of those is split testing an email. You'll also see that there are a lot more built-in templates that you can choose from. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this design. And you can see that there's a lot more ways that you can really customize some of these emails to be really professional and slick looking. So inside of Infusionsoft here, you can see we can choose a couple of different designs to create our newsletters. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this template here. And as you can see, we can choose our recipients based on tags here or saved searches in this case, whichever one um, actually works for you. And then you can enter your subject line and make any changes that you like here. You'll see we've got different style settings that we can change and we can also change what kind of blocks that we wanna add here. And then you can also schedule and send to have people receive these emails and you'll see kind of a, an update of what it's gonna look like. Now, the main thing I wanna talk about under Infusionsoft is really the e-commerce. And this is where you can actually create your shopping cart, your order forms, and all the different things you might be needing to really have an online business that's fully interconnected inside of one system. So again, this is, in my opinion, the thing that makes Infusionsoft superior at this point in the recording of this video, just because you can do so much in one place. Now, you might prefer the interface for active campaign if you don't need to do a ton of sales or if you only have one product then active campaign might work really really well for you if you only have let's say like a membership site or something like that where you can have a shopping cart that is done outside of active campaign then i definitely think it's a great way to go um, honestly if we were starting over we would probably look at active campaign very seriously just because it's so intuitive it's smooth it's lightweight um, it's really uh, you know, easy to use and easy to create the things that you want inside of the automations and campaigns. Um, and in terms of Infusionsoft, you know, sometimes you do need a little bit more training to actually be able to use and get in deeper into the Infusionsoft world and really get what you want working for it. So that being said, um, I hope this gives you something to go on when it comes to deciding between Infusionsoft and Active Campaign. They are both really great products that we both personally use inside of our business. And I highly, highly recommend that you check both of them out and read the post over on ambitionally.com if you haven't yet for more details on the difference between Active Campaign and Infusionsoft. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.